What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm down at Alfa Romeo Charlotte getting to check out the all new 2021 Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint. Huge shout out to them for providing this sedan for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. That will be down in the description below. This model here is finished off in Alfa White and it has an MSRP just over $44,000. Let's go ahead and jump into today's review by starting up underneath the hood where you'll find the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. This is paired to the eight speed automatic transmission and it pumps out 280 horsepower around 5,200 RPM and 306 pound feet of torque as low as 2000 RPM. This model here is rear wheel drive. It weighs in around 3,500 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in around five seconds up to its top speed of 149 miles an hour. And with a fuel capacity of 15.3 gallons, you can expect to see around 24 miles per gallon in the city and 33 out on the highway. This has a wheelbase of 111 inches. Its overall length is 182.5. It has a width of 73.7 and a height of 57.1 inches. And with all those specs out of the way, we can go ahead and take a look at the exterior on the Alfa Romeo Giulia. So I'm going to start front and center with the grill. Alfa Romeos have a really unique shape to their grill, and I really like this design. You'll see there's a trim piece that separates the mesh from the bodywork. The Alfa Romeo badge is front and center. And what I love about how everything flows nicely is you'll see the lines from the hood actually extend down the bumper all the way to the very bottom, wrapping around the grill. So it's really nice how everything flows nicely. You'll also notice the openings in the grill or the mesh of the grill are very large to provide maximum cooling to that turbocharged engine. And you can see there's forward facing parking sensors along with a forward sensor over on the passenger side. This also has HID headlights. You'll see the LED DRLs as well within the housing I have a very nice design to them. We have more parking sensors on the outer side of the bumper. And then down below, you can see all the contoured lines just giving it a great look. Making our way to the side profile now, I'm gonna start off with these wheels. They measure 19 inches, they're eight inches wide. You can see they're finished off in black and they have a really nice design to them. Just behind the wheel, you can see the red brake calipers with Alfa Romeo spelled out on them. And this model also features an active suspension. As we make our way to the side mirrors now, they are power folding. They feature the integrated turn signal. You'll see they're finished off in black and that even extends to around the window trims and up on the roof itself. This also features a sunroof as well. And you can see there are very clean lines that run down the side profile. There's one that extends just behind the front fender arch through the door handles and all the way to the back. And you can also see the side skirts protrude away from the vehicle as well, giving it an aggressive look. And finishing up in the rear, you can see the Alfa Romeo badge right in the center of the trunk, along with the backup camera just underneath that. All the parking sensors are in the lower section of the bumper. You can also see all of the badges are blacked out. This has LED taillights with a really nice design to them. And then in the lower section of the diffuser, we have the dual exhaust. Now it's time to go ahead and take a look at the interior on the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Before I do that though, I'm gonna double tap this button on the key fob here. This vehicle has remote start, which is a really cool feature to see. So on a cold day like it is today, you can have your Alfa Romeo up and running and ready to go. If you double tap on this button, it will automatically shut off. And now with the vehicle locked and the key in my pocket, all I have to do is grab on the door handle and it will automatically unlock. So now we can go ahead and take a look at this beautiful door panel where you'll see a combination of black and red leather along with red stitching running along the armrest. We have the release handle up top along with a really nice wood trim piece surrounding that and the lock and unlock. Down below, you'll see all of the window controls along with the side mirror adjustments. This also features an eight speaker audio sound system and there's a good amount of storage space in the lower section of the door. And now moving on to the door sill, you can see Alfa Romeo spelled out. And now we can take a look at this beautiful red leather interior. You can see the Alfa Romeo badge embossed in the headrest with very nice red stitching as well. These are heated seats and we have all the power adjustments down on the side along with the memory seating adjustments. And once inside with my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and start it up. You'll see on the left side of the gauge cluster is the engine temperature and the tack. On the right side is the miles per hour and the fuel gauge. And then right in the center, you have some more information like your miles per hour again. You have the clock and the outside temperature along with what gear you're in. And on the lower section, you can see the MPG along with the compass. And now as we make our way to the steering wheel, you'll see it's completely covered in solid black leather. Has really nice grips on both sides along with a flat bottom design to it. 
Over on the right side, you can see we have volume controls for the radio along with Bluetooth and voice commands. Over on the left side, you have all of your cruise control buttons. You can see the engine start stop button as well. And then we also have the column mounted paddle shifters. They are finished off in aluminum, have a very nice size to them as well. And then as we make our way to the left side of the steering wheel, you'll see down below, we have the small storage bin if you need to put any items there. We have all the headlight controls along with being able to turn on and off the parking sensors and the engine start stop feature. There's one air vent. And then as we make our way back to the center, we have the 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen system. This is very easy to use. You can also use the controls down in the lower section here. We have the home button along with a rotary dial and then a settings button on the right side. So with it on the home screen right now, you can see the navigation right in the middle. We can use that rotary dial to go over to radio. We can also go over to phone. If we go again, you can go into the driver assistance along with the climate. You have a performance page. You have your connected services settings that you can go into. And like I said, this is a touchscreen system, so you can just swipe on it to go through all this information. If I click on the navigation, we can look at that in full screen. And then there's also a home button on the upper left there. You can look at your boost as well as torque. You can also swipe up on this too to look at some other information within this screen. Same with the climates. So you can go up to get to your heated seats and quickly turn them on and off. So that's a very nice feature to see within the home screen itself. Gives you a lot more versatility to go through those items. You'll see two air vents just underneath that. And then below that we have physical buttons for the AC. So we have the fan speed right in the center along with temperature on both sides. You can sync the dual zone if you'd like to. We also have shortcuts to the heated steering wheel and the heated seats. You'll see just below that there's a 12 volt along with an auxiliary port. There's a little bit of storage space in front of two cup holders where you'll also see more of that trim as we saw earlier on the door panels. Moving on to the shifter now with my foot on the brake, I'll just pull the release in the front of it. We can go all the way up into reverse. You'll see the backup camera up here with the guidelines as well. You can also get a view for the sensors on the left side of that screen. We can go all the way down into drive and pop it over into the manual setting, which allows you to use these column mounted paddle shifters. And then if you just click on the P, it will automatically go back into the middle and put the vehicle into park. You'll see the electronic parking brake on the left side of that. There's a little bit of storage space for your key on the right side. And then you'll also notice on the left side too, we have the different driving modes. So right now the vehicle is in natural mode. If we twist it down, that goes into all efficient. And then if we hold it for a few seconds all the way up, that goes into dynamic mode. You'll see on the right side, we have power and volume for the radio along with tuning. You'll see there's a little storage bin here, which also acts as the wireless charging port for your phone, which is really nice to see. We have a little bit of storage space in the center console along with some auxiliaries on the back side. And then as we make our way to the glove box, there's definitely plenty of room for all of your items that have to go there. We'll go ahead and take one last look at this red interior. Very nice to see this against the white exterior. And as I mentioned earlier, this does have a sunroof. It's actually split between the front passengers and the rear passengers. You have the sunshade control up in the center here for the front, along with being able to adjust the sunroof and the dome lights are up here as well. And now jumping into the back seats of the Alfa Romeo Giulia, I'm gonna start up top here with the manual adjusting sunshade. So you can quickly open and close that if you like to. And then talking about the amount of room that you have in the back, I'm five foot 10, I have the front seat set at my height, I have a few inches in front of my knees and a few inches above my head. These are very comfortable seats. I love the texture that they have to them and they kind of sink down just a little bit to give you some added support. You'll also notice right in the center we have two air vents along with a USB port. There's a little bit of storage behind both front seats and I love how we have the same attention to detail on the door panel. Gives it a very nice touch. And then if you don't have anyone in the middle seat here we have the armrest along with two cup holders. And last up we'll go ahead and take a look at the trunk storage space. So I'm just going to double tap the button on the key fob and you'll see the trunk automatically open up. There's a good amount of storage space in the back here with the back seats up. You also have a lever on both sides. Just by pulling on these, you can go ahead and fold down the back seats. They have a 60-40 split to them. So if you do need extra storage space, that gives you a lot of room to be able to put in any larger items if you need to. Over on the driver's side, we have a little storage bin if you wanna place any items in there. And then up top, there are two different grab handles. So you can use either one of those to go ahead and close it up. All right, so getting the 2021 Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint out on the road now. We're joined with Brian from Alfa Romeo Charlotte. So thanks for being with me today on this test drive. This has been a really cool car to check out. And this is an all new model for 21, correct? Yeah, Sprint. Yeah, it's yep. always, always good to have you guys here. The Sprint's a legendary uh, Alfa Romeo moniker. 
okay. uh, and it goes all the way back to the to the fifties, and they've applied it to several different uh, oh, wow. models. Yeah. yeah. Um, for twenty one, the Sprint is geared more towards the luxury comfort mm-hmm. side of things versus yeah. the quad uh, right. or the TI Sports. Well, it's been pretty comfortable so far, and we're actually in dynamic mode right now, and the suspension is riding pretty good. Mm-hmm. Does it get a little bit stiffer for a dynamic? A, a tad bit. A little bit? But this doesn't have the shock setting okay. that, the, uh, that the sports do. Okay. The TIs. You can feel it a little bit different and natural now. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go ahead and keep it in dynamic mode uh, because that's probably just going to make it a little bit more fun to drive. It's always more fun. We'll pop it over into the manual setting here. I love these paddle shifters. Having them column mounted is something that Alfa Romeo is pretty much known for. Mm-hmm. And I, I love the size of them. At the same time, we have the turn signal stock on one side, wiper blades on the other. And I can actually touch them right now without touching the paddles. So while they're quite large, uh, they don't hinder being able to use those controls, which is really nice to see, of course. But while we're at a stoplight, we might as well talk about visibility real quick. It's actually really easy to see all around. I love how the pillars in the back are not all that bulky. So it gives you a good visibility over your left and right shoulder as well, which is of course great to see. And then we might as well talk about the interior. Are there any updates for 21? I know the screen might've been new for 20. The screen the screen was new for 20 and okay. it is a touch screen now. Integration is really slick, yeah, it's, uh, especially for uh, CarPlay or Android. Okay, uh, it has that too, yeah. yeah but it works both, uh, both modes. It's your favorite color combination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've done quite a few red and white alphas. Uh, I'm a sucker for the red interior. It pops really nice in this car as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and give it a little bit of gas. Wow, this scoots. It's peppy. Yeah. It's not crazy loud, but the uh, shifts are very instant and we were up to the speed limit just like that. Very smooth in the power delivery. So that is impressive. On the downshifts now. Wow. Yeah, for not being the quad, right. this has plenty of get up. Yeah, it's, I mean, it would be a great all arounder. Daily yeah. driver, yeah. getaway car commuter. You could have some fun with this on back mountain roads. All right, we'll do one last acceleration for today's video, getting out onto the highway so we can experience this. And we're up to highway speeds, so I don't see any issues with merging with this vehicle. You definitely have plenty of power for everything that you need. Do you have any experience driving these out on the highway? I have. I don't have a lot of experience. I have. I've actually taken one of these on uh, a short uh, hop up to our other store yeah. in Greensboro. Okay. And it's they're, they're a very comfortable car. It seems very quiet on the inside, which is nice, well insulated. We have an 18-wheeler next to us here, and you can barely hear that. And the Harley. So, yeah, and a motorcycle as well. So this would be a great daily driver, definitely a great commuter if you're doing a lot of highway driving or anything like that. But I think that's going to wrap it up for our walk around review and test drive behind the wheel of the 2021 Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint. Sprint. Huge shout out again to Alfa Romeo Charlotte Thanks, for providing this car for us today and Brian for coming along to give us a little bit of historic info on this car, which is always great to see. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on our daily uploads. Definitely check out Alfa Romeo Charlotte. I'll have all their information down in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.